In this video, we'll learn how to apply fillets and chamfers on a 3D model. And turn a plain looking model from this to this. So let's begin. We will start with all the tasks required to be done in this exercise. The first item on the list is to apply an R6 fillet. So we have two R6 fillet over here and here. Next, we will apply two distances chamfer measuring 8 by 4 here and here. We will next apply a full round fillet here. And we apply a 2 by 45 degree chamfer along this curved surface, this curved path. Lastly, we apply an R2 fillet on only a certain edge over here. Let's begin. Open up the file fillet and chamfers.ipt. You will be presented by this empty model. Now, to access the fillet tool, go into the 3D model tab. Under the modify panel, click on fillet. A dialog box will appear. Press the escape key to cancel out. You can also press the F key as a shortcut to Felix. Try it now. Press the F key on your keyboard. You'll be presented by this dialog box. On default, it always shows the edge fillet. There's other two options, the face fillet, and lastly, the full round fillet. Let's go through all of them. Now the edge fill. On this item here, click over here to select all the edges that you need to add fillets. And a preview of the value here is being shown. So if you were to left click over here and change the value to maybe 5mm, the preview will update itself. Next, let's go to the face fillet. Face fillet occurs when you have you apply one of the face to the other to other face, and they will try to join them up using a fillet. You can change this value to your liking. Lastly, is the full round fillet. Click on three edges. Usually, one is two edges are two faces are always opposite to each other. Here, example, here and here. And last will be the center face. Let's click to reset. Okay, this is okay. The center face, click again and select here. Deselect this fella by Pressing the shift key and clicking it. And lastly, click on the last surface. A preview of the full surface will be generated. Now, let's go through chamfer. You can access to chamfer through the 3D model tab, modify panel, chamfer, just beside the fillet tool. Click on it. The shortcut key for chamfer is Control Shift K. Here, they are presented by three other options: distance, equal distance means if this value is shown as two, you apply a chamfer of two by two, which means the distance from here to here is two mm, and here to here is also two mm. Next, 
distance and angle. So distance and angle option allows you to vary the angle itself. You can put it under 30 degrees, click on a face, and click on an edge. And you can swap it. Press Ctrl, Shift, K again. The last option will be the distance by distance. You can select two separate distances for distance, either one of them. So let's change this to 10 mm. Select the edge to see the preview. You can also flip it over. Press cancel. Now, let's begin by completing our task. Apply the R6 fillet. So, for calling out fillet, press the F key. Now, select this edge and this edge. If you have selected wrongly, press down the Shift key over it until you see a red highlight and click again to deselect the edge. Now select the second edge. Change the value here to R6 and press OK. Next, we'll apply two distance distances chamfer over here and here. So the shortcut for chamfer is Control Shift K. Select the distance option for chamfer. Let's change the value first: distance one, eight, and distance two, four mm. Click here for each selection and select this edge. This is the wrong opposite direction, so let's flip the direction of the edge. Press apply. Now repeat the same thing on the opposite side. Flip it over and press OK. Let's apply the full round fillet over here. This consists of this surface, the center surface, and the second face. Let's try that out. Press F to call out the fillet function. Select the last option here for the full round fillet. Side face set 1. Automatically we shift to the center face set. Click over here. And on this side, select the side face set 2. And a full round radius is being generated. The good thing about full round fillet, if the distance between here and here enlarge or lessen, the round will automatically adjust accordingly. Let's go to pointer number four. Apply a chamfer of 2 by 45 degrees along this path. So, till now I think you should know the sh uh, shortcut for chamfer. Control Shift K. Now select the distance by distance, click on this edge and enter 2 and press OK. Lastly, let's apply the R2 fillet over here, just this short edge. Press F to call out the fillet function. Select this surface and change it to 2. But what happened here? If you notice, because of this round fillet, it has combined all these surfaces and edges as one entity. So this isn't what we want. So let's cancel out and recall back the, fun the fillet function too.
press F to call it up. The first one, click on this double arrow and deselect this automatic edge chain. This allows you to select just a single edge instead. And press OK. That's it for applying fillets and chevron 3D model.